farts in this room. Right? Make farts? Farts, farts, oh. farts, farty farts. No, work. Scooby's not here. The fart factory. I can is... breathe, yes. We can breathe with Scooby <laughs> not here. Okay, we can put one bush in. I, got, well, I had one bush in maybe this <clears> long, and I got two bushes that are that long. I think one bushing. And then we'll, it tears it up real quick, or we just put two in there and do it right. Oh, so, I didn't know you could do that. We're going to do that because we're not going to listen to you. We already know what happens when you listen to you. So if you push really hard with the press, will that go in there? No, you're going to need to turn it down. We're going to have to work. Oh, damn. All right. What kind of work are we going to do? You're going to have to figure out how what the inner diameter is to match it to the outer diameter of that 8, guy. 813, 811. Twelve. Ten. Ten, eleven, twelve, and thirteen. Well, covers it. We got every size. All right. Yeah. So we're gonna make it uh, smaller. What that is? Or bigger? You made it smaller. Make it bigger. Bigger. Make them smaller. Should I be on the other side? Yeah, you're my way. <clears throat> are those bastard files? Those are one of those. The big one, right? Oh yeah, that's definitely a bastard. Big bastard. Wow. That's a file. That is a file. That's not a bastard file. It is a baby file. It's small. One. Like that one, no. yeah. hmm. Flat half moon. Yep. Vintage. That's right. See, that's a new file after you leave it outside and don't tell me. Oh. Didn't, didn't they look like that when I get them back? That's why you don't loan your tools out. Well, when you do, that's what you get back. Alright. Where's my tools at? This whole shop is one big tool. Tools everywhere. Oh, so you have an expanding thing? I have an expanding thing. This, <clears throat> one, this one doesn't work, it's too small. That one might be too big. It's gonna have to work though. If it goes over the end, it'll go on. Okay. okay. Never seen one of those before. It's right here. Now I have. I can die a happy, happy man. This is an installation tool here, too. Yeah. Like that. Beat it with this. It's the hard side. Very practical. It doesn't do anything because it slides off. Hmm. It wasn't working very well. So this is it's also a V-mounting tool also. Oh. So what we need to do is push on that edge right there, which is gonna be a little harder to do. I'm gonna block your camera either way. No. Sure. Better not. I think you're trying to block it now. Maybe I'm just working hard. <laughs> hard working. Touch your button. What? Touch your button. Touch your button.
There goes the hat, huh? Or the, the tang or whatever you call it. Why is it a different color now? Was it just a coating of brass? Oxidized. Oh. Well, I was corroded. They were 920 a long ways ago. <clears throat> <clears throat> said 814 was a number. We are uh, as low as 10 and the highest number I got was 14. <clears throat> oh. So that means we got two to six thou for us. That means quite a bit. Oh. So I'm gonna make a Demounting tool. Demounting tool going? Yeah. Is that really what it's supposed to do or just what you're doing with it? So I do it. Somehow you gotta push it off. How strong are you? I don't know. Bush and you couldn't find. No. What was this originally for? Some kind of cam cover? Mine right, got a right, it's Forster cam bushing. It's, yeah, it's got this oil groove in it. <clears throat> a whole box full of junk ones over there. I went to the scrap box. And well, you don't throw away your stuff. You never know when you need it for something else. Right. Well, that's what I. That's why I kept that other one. They were junk from cam cover bushes, but great. 
break the backing plate bushings. Yeah. After you do a little light machining. Well, you know what? I couldn't have done that at home. Why are you doing both? Just to see which one works better? You need two? Why, so you have another one in the future? Oh, because my thing needs two, huh? Of course. You have it already set, right? You just take it off because it's already set up. I know you don't fix this up. You never go as fast as you can go as Uh huh. Thank you. 
15 and a half. I thought I did. Brass doesn't leave much of a cut. Mm -hmm. Steel. So this is a little bit smaller than the other one. It's just a half a thousand smaller than this one. So if that one is on really, really tight, I can switch over to this one. Going easier. Size of yours? 16. Size of mine? 15 and a half. So if you mix them up, what do you get? Uh, you're gonna get. We got that much. We only need this much. I think I push this in. Oh. Think I go in? I uh, I don't know. You know if it's gonna go in or don't know if it's gonna break. Probably don't know if it's gonna go in. No, I think it'll go in, but I don't know if it's going to break or not. Oh, I'm not sure. I think you'll get it in there. I'll get it in? Yeah. You think it's going to go in there? I think the press will get it in. Oh, okay. But will it break? Mm. Different deal. Yeah. The press will get anything in there. Yeah. I had stuff to press when I put it in. <laughs> what? <laughs> On a motorcycle? Or is it a car or a truck? You didn't clarify what you're talking about, did you? <laughs> okay, where's your brake cam going to be? Uh, well, I have it over here. I want the groove here. Which way are you pulling? Pulling this way. Let me go get it. Oh, brake cam. What do we do with the brake cam? I had to figure out I want to put the groove out. <clears throat> oh, I don't know where the thing is though. Cam's over there. I had to figure out where to put the groove. Oh, you don't need it. Oh, I think the groove belongs on the back side. I put it over here at a 45 degree point on the back side. I'm thinking that's be the worst place, best place to put the uh, lack of bushing material. <laughs> I wonder if my brake will feel a little smoother now. You might actually move, you mean? Return a little bit sharper. I'm going to put the other piece on top of that piece, eh? Hmm. I won't need such a massive monster spring for it to return. Probably not. <laughs> yeah, slow over a little bit. Stopped. What happened? Uh -oh. <clears throat> appears to be all the way in there for some reason. Looks like we're gonna have to cut some of it off. We're gonna have to cut some. Jeez, that's a big chamfer on there. I could get rid of that. Have to push it down deeper though to do that. How are we gonna push it deeper? We need something round and hollow. Round and hollow. Another bushing. It won't collapse. You put tons of pressure on it. I didn't say it was like a brass bushing. There you go. Cool. We'll run it like this. Oh it's yeah, area. that'll work. Well, you had it like that before. You just had to feed it over a little bit. Anyway. Yeah. That's how you had it. Pretty much. I remember how you did it. All that work for like basically the same. <laughs> just Can playing. Just playing. You got the cam? Yep. Oh no, you got that piece. What are you doing with that piece? It did. It did for who? For you? For me. 
Anything works for you. It doesn't work for me though. <sighs> Quick and simple. Ooh. Uh, <clears throat> that looks gnarly. Not quite quick and simple though. It's too small. Could be educational. Do something bigger. I like this one, hey. I'll try this one, see if it works. So I got, a lot of, I got a lot of bushing on both sides, so it should, st yeah. should be able to stay in there without falling out. Maybe I'll make my tool work. Of course, I got my nail machine all dirty again. Oops. Is your 
electric chamfer. Um, you got it right there. Right there? Mm hmm. <clears throat> wow, no hammer necessary. Can you imagine that? The brake is going to be breaking itself. I won't even have to press that pedal. Huh? I was hoping that would squeeze enough enough to hold it somewhere. That pedal is going to push itself. I won't even need my foot. Forget your foot. <laughs> yeah. All this work, man. This bike is gonna be riding itself. Just be a wave at it as it goes by. That's too much. That'll be riding next to me while I drive my truck. So that's too tight. Did it not before? No, you had to be able to figure out the camera. Oh, I didn't have to use a hammer with that before. Why not use a hammer at all now? Now it fits like it's supposed to. Slip and slide. There you go. See you got the hole, you just go like that. See it's in. Wow. Mm. So my wheel was, will spin? Just like your brake cam spins now. Mm. So it won't like lock up while I decelerate? This makes the bike easier to put together by having it slip fit and not beat on the big enough hammer like you have it. I know, I was getting tired. Okay, I'm going to go uh, clean this way back.